वंस अगेन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो दिस इज कॉन बी लैब नंबर एट इन लैब नंबर सेवन वी लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट अ वेरी 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 सिंपल हेलो वर्ल्ड एपीआई गेटवे लामदा यूजिंग सवल एस फ्रेमवर्क टुडे इन दिस लैब दैट इज लैब नंबर एट आई शो यू हाउ इजीली यू कैन एड एपीआई कीज टू ऑथेंटिकेट योर एपीआई लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो और राइट सो आल जूम इन अगेन एंड एज यू नो यू हैव द लैब कोड योर लैब नंबर एट एंड दिस शुल बी your code here you need two files serverless.yml and handler.py so now from lab 7 you have an idea what we want to do okay so how easy is this is is really really amazing so let me collapse all this right this should be familiar to you from lab number 7 organization app name right service name that you give framework right so now uh you have a api route called hello right method is post all you got to say is private as true that's it framework takes care of it right now in order to define your api keys so there are two ways that i'm going to show you uh, uh here that is the first way is uh, you want to randomly generate an api key okay so for that one uh you know i'll take this off i'll put this in a notepad so just can show you so uh all right So in the first scenario that I'm showing you is I am not defining my own key I want the serverless to give me an API key right to to call my API So now my 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 stack is ready now I all I need to do the magic word sls deploy So I'll say sls deploy then I'm just going to wait and watch and then I'm going to show you how to use that API key with your lambda okay So now we added an API authentication to our lambda very easy right uh, as I said right framework is the way to go it makes your life easy right so then i'll show you in the next part or or rather this part only how you can provide your custom api key if you wanted to use that right so that is also possible okay so uh, i'll i'll show you shortly in 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 this demo so i'm waiting for this to complete right and then we can go into models and other other things in that you know uh, quotas is something that we can do rate limiting but slowly slowly not everything in one video this is lab 8 only about api keys adding api keys we go slowly slowly from basic and then gradually progress adding more and more and more to our yml file okay so i'm just waiting for this at, at this point to to you know hopefully i'm running that in the right directory <laughs> otherwise i need to run it again uh, but uh, yeah it's up updating my cloud formation stack i'll wait for a couple of more and i'll try to zoom in as you can see should be done in a second or two let's keep waiting So the goal is not to use console and try to use framework or either Terraform to 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 do stuff, right? Once you know the concept, then use frameworks to do your job, right? Uh, makes things easy, right? There is a set um, for format or template to follow, right? Uh, using framework, but uh, yeah. So let's wait. Uh, should be done in a minute. We are on step fifteen, sixteen. and last step to go okay and there you go it's done now it should give you an api key for that particular user um as you can see i uh, gave me an api key now i'll show you how to use that okay so i copy this i head over to my postman i'll dump this here now i have to copy the api key that it gave me copy now headers so now i'll dump my api key here make a request and there you go works so if i don't pass the api key which i'm going to show you forbidden right so now your api is authenticated very great now the next step what you could do i'm not going to do this but you could do that if you want so say you wanted to provide your own api keys also so there is an ability to do that so you can do something like ah uh, get a do this so 
So you could provide something like this. Now this should be your API key. So if you want to provide your custom API key, there is an ability that serverless uh, gives you right to do that. But it's that easy. You, you see how easy that is. Now always make sure to remove your stack after you're done with learning. So I'll call serverless SLS remove and this should remove my entire stack. And as I said, this should be lab number eight. The code should be there on the GitHub section, uh, lab eight. So please download and try yourself out. Thank you so much. In the next lab, we'll explore more on API gateways and Lambdas. Thank you so much.